welcome back to the latest update of the Fazio News, everyone, and here they are. Hundreds of Cambodians march for workers' rights at May Day Rally. Hundreds of Cambodian workers rallied for better working conditions and higher pay at the May Day March in Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh. Waving Cambodian flags, banners, and chanting Long Live the Workers, the demonstrators marched around one of the city's major landmarks. Many of the participants were from Cambodia's garment and construction industries. <laughs> International Labor Day is very important. I want higher pay and for my company to respect my labor rights. Cambodia's minimum wage for garment industry workers as of January 1, 2023 is set at $100 per month according to government websites, although activists are pushing for higher margin. Three tanker crew missing after it caught fire off Malaysian southern coast. Malaysian Maritime Authority said three crew members of Gabon registered tanker were missing after the vessel caught fire off Malaysia's southern coast. Meanwhile, the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency said the tanker was on its way from China to Singapore with 28 crew members on board, adding that 23 were rescued by the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency and by nearby vessels. It is not clear if any crew remained on board the vessel. The Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency said it commenced search and rescue operations after receiving an alert at 1600 hour local time about a tanker on fire. The Maritime Agency said the cause of the incident was under investigation. Philippine activists held rally on May Day to demand better wages. Hundreds of Filipino activists held a rally in Manila to mark International Workers' Day and call on the government for better wages and treatment for laborers. Activists held banners and chanted slogans at a rally near the presidential palace to demand a minimum wage be increased to 570 pesos or 10.50 cent dollar per day and an improvement of the benefits that struggling workers are receiving. It's very bleak, as um, many have, uh, have noted. We are at an unprecedented um, uh, devaluation of real of the real value of wages. There hasn't been any significant uh, wage increase, much less um, wage increase to approximate uh, living wage. Uh, we have uh, an unemployment crisis situation in the country. International Workers' Day, also known as Labor Day, is traditionally celebrated on May 1st to honor the working class and highlight the importance of laborers in the workforce around the world. United States and the Philippines agree to stronger military cooperation by new guidelines. The U.S. official said President Joe Biden welcomed Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to the White House, where the two leaders will agree to new guidelines for stronger military cooperation. The guidelines focus on military coordination across land, sea, air, space, and cyberspace, while the U.S. administration will also transfer three C-130 aircraft and look to send additional patrol vessels to the Philippines. The official said in a briefing call for reporters, Biden will also reaffirm a 1951 mutual defense treaty that calls for the United States to act in the event of an armed attack on the Philippine military. Marcos became president last year and has sought warm relations with both the United States and China, who are vying for influence in the Asia-Pacific region. Phnom Penh preparing to host Cambodia's first sea games. Sports venues across Phnom Penh are gearing up to host the 32nd Southeast Asian Games, the first time the regional multi-sport tournament will host it in Cambodia. 
Regional athletes are set to compete in 37 sports, where among the Cambodia has decided to include three additional categories, Aukchak Tran, Khmer Chess, as well as two martial arts, Pohator and Kung Khmer. According to local reports, organizers said that the SEA Games present an opportunity for traditional sports to be broadcasted to foreign spectators. Although the main events will primarily be held at venues around Phnom Penh, including the Mororok Techno National Stadium, certain events requiring special terrains such as mountain biking and long-distance running will be held around Siam Rap. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen last month announced that entrance tickets to the Games will be free of all charges to all Cambodian citizens. The 32nd Sea Games will be held from May 5 to 17. Inflation pushes smaller companies in Japan to hike salaries. In Western Japan, mid-sized confectionery maker Suzette Holdings is planning to pay out bonuses this year that are third higher than previous years as sales return to pre-COVID levels. The company is one of many smaller Japanese firms that are aging towards raising remuneration for their employees amid rising inflation. Price for cake ingredients such as eggs, flour, oil, and many other items have increased. So even though sales is rising, our profits have not risen that much. In order to reward the employees who made it through the COVID pandemic and to boost up their performance, we would like to raise the pay even just a little bit for the employees who are working hard every day. The company surveyed plan to boost salaries through basic pay hike and other remuneration like bonuses. Wages have been really rising in Japan since the asset bubble burst in the 1990s but have crept up recently as companies face pressure to compensate employees for the rising cost of living. Bank of Japan officials also said the outcome of small firms' wage talks, which will be in full swing towards June, will be the key to whether Japan sees durable wage hikes that will allow it to phase out its massive monetary stimulus. Chinese Foreign Minister visits Myanmar to bolster diplomatic ties. According to broadcaster MRTV, Chinese Foreign Minister Xin Gang met Myanmar's junta chief Ming Oholeng in IPDL to strengthen their bilateral relationship. They discussed enhancing diplomatic ties, stability and development in Myanmar border regions, trade and energy cooperation, including investments. Myanmar has been in crisis since the military ousted Aung San Suu Kyi's elected government in February 2021, with the general struggling to consolidate power and fighting on multiple fronts against ethnic minority rebels and a pro-democracy resistant movement. The ministry added in a brief statement, Xin Gang will be in India for a meeting of foreign ministries from the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Grouping. Bali police rescued 21 endangered turtles from poacher. Officials said the 21 endangered grizzly turtles seized from a poacher bali by police were being looked after by a local conservation center, after which they will be returned to the wild. <laughs> Authorities raided a 46-year-old home after receiving multiple reports from locals on the suspected illegal trade of turtle meat for consumption. Bali police said a mix of small and large turtles were found in a maintenance pool. The man could face five-year jail sentence and hundreds of million rupiah fine, which is $6,792. Earlier this year, Indonesian authorities rescued 43 turtles from poachers during a routine navy patrol across Bali waters. Thank you very much for tuning in today, folks. Stay safe and stay healthy. Enjoy your weekend. We will see you soon.